Hello, welcome to the training video for um, YouTube Creator Studio. This Creator Studio is YouTube's version of just a very simple, no thrills, minimal bells and whistles video editor. Um, it's free with your Google account, so that's the nice thing with our Price Schools account. We do have a free video editor. So I'm going to get started here by, I'm already at the YouTube site. I'm going to get started here by signing in with my account by schools don't copy my password <laughs> all right so here I am <coughs> in my YouTube account um, one of the things you're gonna want to do is once you've got your YouTube account done is you're gonna want to upload a video and Google makes it really easy if you've imported or have your video saved in Google Photos or your Google Photos um, folder uh, makes it really easy to import things over and, and bring it in there um, the other way you can do this, if you have files saved to your computer, then um, you can use the file uploader. Either way, Google makes it very easy. Um, the nice thing is they give you help and suggestions right here. The other nice thing is you can automate, you can set when you upload those videos kind of as a batch. Do you want it public where anybody can see it? Unlisted where it makes it a little bit harder to find, but it is viewable and private. Um, you only want you to be able to see it for right now. My recommendation is to set it for private and um, unless you are really good with this and, and have, have some time or unless you're just doing a raw video uploading it and ready to go. Um, that way it gives you some control as to when people start to see it. Um, I'm not going to go through the upload process. Uh, I may do that in a later video, um, but it's pretty straightforward. Okay, um, once you're, you've got your files uploaded, the nice thing is they've got a really quick a way to get to the video editor. Um, another way you can do that, let's say you uploaded your videos and you needed to walk away for a little bit, you can click on uh, your little icon or token up here. Um, might be a little letter with a colored background for you. Just click on that and go to Creator Studio. And the nice thing is here you've got your dashboard. This is kind of your um, editing place that you can go. You can see some analytics and stuff. Um, where we're going to focus on is right here with the create and you're gonna come down here to video editor and here videos that you have uploaded are right here you have your editor kind of your um, storyboard down here your audio board down here you have your tools um, the nice thing you've got videos you can see some kind of videos this is a great way to show students have them play around with it to remix some common creative common videos so videos that they can use and can I cut up and create and, and practice with without worrying about copyright. Um, if you've got pictures you can do that. Um, there's some canned music that is Creative Commons free that you can use that. Transitions, title boards, and um, how to move around on the keyboard. I like to start by making sure you can see there's some videos here that I've already created which I'll get into in a little bit later. Um, but I like to start by giving mine a title. So I'm going to say um, theorem test all right so I've got that now first thing I always, next thing I always like to do is kind of create a little title in here bring that in there again Google makes it really easy to edit these things so I'm gonna start with P theorem video okay and I can change the background color um, you know I'm gonna go with a nice kind of five school district blue yeah, you can crop. One of the things, I, another thing I like about this one is right here, these little blue handlebars off to the side are your cropping. So you can crop it down, make it shorter, make it a little bit longer. I'm going to shoot for about eight seconds because I want to put in a transition here, kind of a simple transition. Drag that in, drop it there, perfect. Now, you'll notice I'm clicking out here in this area to get back to this little main screen. Okay, so I'm going to start dropping in some videos. So let's see here. I'm going to pull in. Let's see here. This one is the. Uh, no, that's not the first one. This is the first one I want to bring in. So I'm going to drag that in there. You can see it's so going to do an autoplay. I'm just going to hit pause there. Now, one of the things I recommend you do: preview effects side by side. So this in way, front of me. When you make some changes, let's say you apply a filter, you can see how so that filter in front is of me. going uh -huh. to kind of affect so in front the, of me I have it um, 
So in front of me, I have a wall that I want to be able to paint. So in front of me, I have a wall that I want to be able to paint. So in front of me, I have a and now I'm going to go back and I'm going to bring in, uh, let's see here, so I'm going to bring that one in, put that Today there. we're going to be talking about the... ...that, and come back, and let's see here, pause. That is kind of an annoyance, I'm waiting for that pause to come in. Okay. First step is... Having to pause that every time. Uh, so now I'm just going to quickly kind of finish this up here. Let's see these in order. At the next step. And bring that down. So. And let's see here. One last one here. And I'm going to put that in there. And okay. Now, unfortunately, so. with these ones, let's say I want to stretch that out. I can't. I can't go past the recorded time, but I can crop it if I want to. So that can be a helpful feature there. All right. So I'm just going to pull in some transitions. Um, one recommendation that I do make um, for, or I do give to people is uh, make sure you're using kind of the same transition half meters. all the way you know, between each slide. Um, it just, it kind of makes it nice and clean and doesn't get irritating. Well, next up is going so, to there we go. Got my transitions in. If I wanted to add some audio I could drag it in there talking if I wanted about the to. the Pythagorean theorem and how we can use that Easy. in real life. Oh, let's go so in front of me, I have a wall. And drag it in there. And pause that. And I'm going to want to crop that a little bit. So I'm going to bring that down. Kind of let that. Now, the other nice thing is, I could have this play throughout the whole thing. Bring the volume down. So if I wanted to play it throughout the whole video, it wouldn't go over my, sound too bad over my voice. And I can adjust a little bit there. All right, so you got your video done. You're ready to render it. You're ready to get it ready for sharing. Okay, so nice thing about Google is you can just hit create video and it will start this process of rendering it, putting it together, setting it up. Um, you'll have kind of your um, address up here. Uh, it may take some time depending on the size of your video. Um, you've got kind of some things that you can look at here while it's doing that. My recommendation is just let it go and kind of let it, let it render on its own. And then when you're ready to share, what I will show you is I'm actually going to go to let's see here my video manager and here's some of the other videos that I have this is the one I rendered earlier and I'm gonna go here today we're gonna be talking about the Pythagorean thing and this is just a simple video that I created um, took me maybe 10 10 minutes or so to kinda get it all put together and so there's the address I want to use to share you can also see analytics on that and so on and so forth. So that's how to create and edit a video in um, Google Creator Studio or YouTube Creator Studio.